Hi guys, welcome to the 2019 studio tour. I know it hasn't been that long since I did the 2018 studio tour, but I have made some changes and everything to my setup and the way that I do things. So I thought it would be nice to start off the year with one of the first videos being a new setup tour. So I'm gonna dig into all of the drawers, all of the shelves and everything you can see behind me. We're gonna dig into all of that. I'm gonna show you my setup and run through my recording equipment and everything. So everything that you need to know of my workspace, my recording equip equipment, how I do tutorials and that kind of thing, this is gonna be your video. So if this interests you, then continue watching. Let's get into the good stuff. Doki, so I figured that I would give you guys a tour of my desk area and my recording setup first. So this is my desk. It's um, a tabletop from Ikea. I think it's a liniment tabletop and it was white but I have actually covered it with some contact paper because it was really kind of getting flaky. I don't know if you can see but it was doing this underneath and I didn't like that so I covered it with this contact paper which I got from Amazon and I think it gives it a much nicer texture. It also reflects a lot less light which is perfect for tutorials so that's good. So immediately obviously I have my Mac and I have a three kind of monitor setup display here. So I've got the Mac, which is what I use mainly. The iPad is what I use as like a digital drawing screen. So I attach it with that Apple cable there. And I use an app called Duet so that it links with the Mac screen and I can like draw on Photoshop and stuff. So that's what I use for that. And this second screen is one that is so useful, especially when I live stream. I put all of the chat and all of that kind of thing onto this screen, and then I use Photoshop or whatever on that screen and then have whatever on the iPad. So that second screen is really, really useful. Also on the desk, I have a pen or pencil pot, which is what I got as a Christmas gift. It's just a little patchwork elephant type thing and I've got all sorts of things in there, just pens, mechanical pencils, uh, markers, all of that kind of stuff. This pen is amazing by the way. How good is she? I also have my Amazon Echo, I've got my little giraffe phone holder thing, I have a external hard drive back there, my camera battery charger which is a little bit redundant now that I have an AC cable for it, but yeah. That's basically that and up the back there I have a secondary webcam which I sometimes use for live streams and I actually need to connect that camera and hook it up to here because at the moment I'm using my DSLR to record live streams and it comes out a little blurry so I need to hook that camera up to this camera so it comes over the top of it there so I need to do that. But this camera that I have here is, I think it's the C920E or something like that, the Logitech webcam. I'll link it in the description for you guys. But along the top here, I've got my daylight lamps. These are Niwa brand. They came with like big tripods and umbrellas and all that kind of thing, but I don't use that because they take up too much space. And as you can tell, my space is quite small. So I have a utility, kitchen utility rod which I've mounted to the wall and then put the lights on it and it's absolutely perfect and I point them up to the ceiling so that the light reflects off the ceiling and down onto the desk so I don't have such a horrible glare. So it's just kind of like a nice soft white light which is just perfect for recording tutorials. I also have, I have another one there but I have over on this side I've got another webcam which is the um, it's not like a, the upgraded version, it's the downgraded version of the other webcam over there. But that's my webcam that I use for facecam for live streams and um, sometimes recording intros and stuff like that. Now the microphone that I have is a Rode Podcaster. I've got it on a Rode arm as well which is a lot better than that blue arm which I was having it on. It's so creaky but this one is so nice and smooth. It's a really good arm. And I've got the shock mount and everything for it as well. And when I'm recording, I just bring it right across my 
screen and have it right in front of my face as I sit there. But when I'm not using it, I just put it up here so it's out of the way. So that's my microphone, it's just a Rode Podcaster. The camera setup is different this time because I now have a wall-mounted camera arm. It's actually a, like a lighting equipment arm, but I've modified it so that it holds my DSLR. Before the tripod, this tripod, was on the desk and the legs would be in the way of the artwork. It would like come right up to here. So I didn't like that. So I got a wall-mounted one and it's so much easier. I will link that. I got that from Amazon in the description as well for you. And the camera that I use is a Canon EOS 750D. I've got three different lenses that I like to use. This one, which is a standard one. I've also got the, I think it's up to 300 mil lens and I've also got a 55 one. Um, yeah, <laughs> this is the one that I use most of the time. Unless I'm doing something quite small, then I switch to the 200 or 300, whatever one it is. I switch to that lens when I want to get up real close. But I have the AC adapter for this, which plugs right into the back. Ugh, can't quite see, but that's what that red and black way it is that runs along there. That's the AC adapter. And the other lead that's like hanging down is the USB cable for plugging it in to the computer and transferring files. So yeah, that's pretty much that area. You can see it's quite, quite fancy. Quite, it's quite small, but it is, it does a job for what I need it for. So down here is a new addition and this is my chest of drawers from Ikea. Before this had the trestle leg, like what you can see under there. I had two of those, but I removed one the other week and replaced it with this chest of drawers. So let's go through this chest of drawers. So in the top one, I have additional supplies. So I've got like my fixatives, erasers, um, blenders, some scalpels and stuff, all of my art snacks boxes that I'm yet to use in there and just some other various supplies, masking tape for prints, ruler, anything that's really useful that I need like on hand. In the next drawer is all of my packaging supplies. So this holds all of my business cards, my scratch cards, anything I kind of use for packaging is in here. So I've got uh, customs labels, fragile tape, ribbon, uh, thank you notes, post-it notes, which are quite funky. The ducks are my absolute favourite. Look at those, they're so cute. Spare candle, because you know, you never know. And just confetti and feathers that I just put in different orders and things just to make them pretty. The next drawer is a bit of a nothing drawer because I don't really know what to fit in this. But basically at the moment it's just holding all of my um, printer paper, so my fine art print paper for my limited edition prints, hole punch, tape measure, printer paper and a little bit of card as well. Just the norm. Next is a drawer for my cellophane bags and envelopes because they need their own drawer. I also have all of my old colour swatches for all of the pieces that I made last year so I'm just not sure what to do with those so I'm just keeping them at the moment I just thought I'd throw them in this drawer along with my cleaning cloth and my cleaning supply I love this one method it's rhubarb flavored or scented and it's divine it's so damn good the last drawer houses all of my additional tech equipment well I say all of it it's just a couple bits I've also got some uh, watercolour pencils there, but this is just like the boxes of all of my additional stuff. It's got my laptop in it and my mouse, iPhone box, and also I've got all of the magazines in here that I've been featured in. These all need to go in like a frame I'm going to put on the wall. I've got a, a sealed copy there of that magazine. Um, and just general magazines that have got useful articles in them if I ever want to refer back to them. Laptop down there which is what I use for scanning. So yeah, that's pretty much just like the generic don't know where to put it drawer. So seeing as I'm sitting on the floor I thought I'd just move you over to 
this section. Down the side of my desk there I've just got different paper pads. I've got some Strathmore Tone Tan, Strathmore Bristol Board, Pastel Mat, all of that kind of stuff. It just sits down in that little gap between my uh, bookcase and my desk. And on this bottom thing here I've just got a basket which was filled with all of the stuff which I've now put in those drawers. So now this basket just houses my spare daylight bulb, um, some plugs and my tape dispenser and a few prints. And then I've got my filing thing, you know, for business stuff. <laughs> so that's just all of my paperwork that needs filing. I need to sort of things to do. So the top one is stuff that I need to do. So orders that need to go out. These are process orders and this is just general stuff. And then I've got a folder there which I've got all of my PayPal receipts and everything in. Just a businessy kind of area there. This next one is for art supplies and stuff which aren't necessarily like coloured pencil related. So I've got a diary there which I keep. This one, which is quite a nice one. I got this from TK Maxx. It's just got quite a nice pattern on it. I've got my homemade sketchbook, which I have been using for my art snacks, demos, ordinary sketchbook. Got a few bullet journals there, which I have filled up with that one's website and business notes. And this one is yet to be filled. It's almost there. Another little notebook. This one's got butterflies and all of insects kind of stuff on it, which is quite nice. Some more note paper, some more notebooks. And this is like a tiny little bullet journal sketchbook type thing and I really love this because I love 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 the colour and it's just a really nice moleskin one I think this colour is called Orchid but I bought it thinking that it was going to be a large notebook but it was a small one but I've kept it anyway <laughs> tape dispenser and a picture this is when we first got our kitchen and moved into our first home together so that's a good memory and I like to look at that one every now and then. In this basket I have uh, blending materials and everything that doesn't really fit on all of the other shelves. So in this basket I've got stuff like Gamsol, Zest It, uh, powder blender, masking fluid, paint brushes for when I do watercolour and just a nice pot of supplies there palette there as well so that basket is actually from Primark and it's really really handy see these were all loose before and they all used to sit in front of one another and I used to have to like reach over to get the other bits at the back out if I wanted them and I'd always knock stuff over and it'll just get lost so I bought this basket and now I can just pull the basket out and everything's nice and accessible so I think it was about three pounds so that was an absolute bargain and then I have my watercolor supplies I've got a pencil case here which has got um, some different pens, scalpels and all of that kind of thing in it. They need to go in my chest of drawers really but this is a nice pencil case that my friend got me. I think this is from pen Paper Chase. But it's a nice wildlife one. Just my kind of thing. I also have my Winsor & Newton professional watercolours in there. And then I have my own palette that I've made there which has got some of the Shinhan colours in it as well as a few colours from this palette so I've kind of made a mishmash in there that's my go-to palette by the way and I will sort of look into that maybe on my second channel at some point or another and in here I've just got the Winsor & Newton Cotman wood colours as well I have another pencil case here that I've had for ages which has just got my really really tiny pencils in this is I've had since I was about two so it's very very old <laughs> It's covered in ink as well but I love it and I just can't bring myself to throw it away even though it does have like holes in it and it just doesn't open very well. I absolutely love that and now everything has just sort of fallen over and I can't put it back. Oh well. So next shelf, this is where the action begins because this is all of the coloured pencil goodness. So this is a new edition. Before I only had the two but now I've got another one. So the bottom set here houses all of my Pablo pencils. They're all nice and laid out in colour order so they're nice and easy to find. This one houses my Luminance pencils. Again, 
all by colour order so they're all nice easy to find and then this top one now houses polychromos they're just like all the spare coloured pencils that aren't in these pots up here so that's nice and accessible everything's nice and laid out in there really good organisation over here I have a nice collection of erasers which actually turned up in the post the other day <laughs> I didn't know where to put them so I just put them there for now but this is a place for all of the supplies that I have so I've got some Shinhan watercolours got some pit pastel pencils some uh, Stablo pastel pencils I've got a, pen, a pot of white pencils and graphite ones and just miscellaneous bits that I use every now and then for my colour pencil work. Sharpeners, got all of my colour swatch cards that I can reference to there as well. I've got, this isn't actually Prism's colours, this is full of the Mars Lumograph pencils but there I've got two sets in here, let me show you. So I've got two sets, so I've actually got three, three different sets of pencils in here. But I've got the Ordinary Mars Lumographs, those blue ones, and then I've got the Mars Lumograph Black, and then these are a cheap set which I'm yet to uh, experiment with. But they all fit really nicely in this Prismacolor box, so I thought why not utilise this rather than throw it out. So that's what's in there. I've got some Castle Art Supplies pencils there. I've also got some um, Faber Castell Gold Faber pencils, which a or the lovely Holly and Mark Neal sent me, and then I've got my Arteza pencils there as well. So they're all nice in their tins, Ooh. <laughs> ready to use. They're really great. I will pick you guys up later. This next shelf, well, this doesn't actually live here. This lives on my top shelf, so I'm just going to move it. This lives up here. You stay there. This is my accessible shelf for coloured pencils. So over here I have two, two pots. This pot is for one drawing that I'm doing. This pot is for another drawing that I'm doing. This is the Derwent Pencil Buddy and it is absolutely fabulous because it clings on to all of your coloured pencils so they don't fall out. I would hold it upside down but my eraser is going to actually fall out. But it holds on to it. It holds on to a majority of your coloured pencils. It didn't hold on to that one because it's got a pencil extender on it. But that's what I use that for. So that's that end of this um, shelf. This other end is for all of my polychromos. And then I have three pots of Prisma colours and a nice peacock feather. A lady peacock feather and then my three sharpeners which I alternate between using and then I just store any kind of artwork that I'm in the middle of doing up here or artwork that needs like filing so I've got my eagle eye my ladybird they're all stored there waiting to be added to my portfolio folder this shelf and the next few shelves are just sort of my fun knick-knacky bits so these are all the things that I collect so I've got like little Disney Mrs. Potts and Chip lip balms. I connect these Disney Tsum Tsums and TY teeny things that stack on one another. More lip balm, a nice little cactus enamel pin. I have succulents, which I need to move because they need some sunlight. This one's already kind of dying. <laughs> Yay! I can't keep plants for the life of me. Um, but this one's doing okay. This one's fine, but I do need to like put them out over on the windowsill Over there for a little bit just so they can get a little bit of sunlight, but Yeah, they keep it kind of nicer green But I think I might need to put like some tiny little grass type plants in there rather than succulents I also have some Crystals and rocks that I just like to sit out looks. Yeah, see it's falling apart this succulent I need to move it to pronto. I'm gonna do that in a minute. So that's like all of my collectibles. There's not too much. And I've got a nice inspirational quote there as well, which I need to change out. That was last year's quote. Need to change it for this year's quote. And lastly, up here, I have my new light box, which I'm going to use, um, which comes down and sits on 
this shelf here for live streams and intros and stuff but more collectibles all of the sort of businessy books that I read there's a sketchbook there and some files for art stuff so this book is really good if you're wanting to market these are really good if you want to style your brand and this book here I'm halfway through reading but it's such a good read and it's such a good insight I love like those kind of books that give you a little bit of psychology into people and what makes them buy and what makes them do things and translating that to business is so effective so if you're looking at some books to read I really recommend that one as well as this one I haven't really read this one too much but this one specifically there's some other books which I'm going to show you as well on my bookcase out in the hallway but that's pretty much it for this room that's just it and then over here over here is where I keep my printer and my scanner so I've done a little printer video on my second channel so I will link that if you want to check it out how I use this but this is just the Epson Sure Colour P600 and I've got a Marat continuous ink system which is sitting down there you can just just about see a little few bits of it and the scanner that I've got is stuff just sitting on top of it is the Plustec Optic Slim 1180 it's an A3 scanner and it does a pretty good job before I take you guys into the hallway this is my original art wall <laughs> This is the wall that you often see behind me in live streams and I'm thinking of changing it up and having some of like fan art maybe, I don't know. But I want to move these around my house but I've just got a few of my original drawings sitting there that don't know where to go. This one's the best! Look at that one. That one's for my Hyacinth McCaw but I haven't finished that drawing yet. So I've just got the empty frame sitting there so it doesn't get damaged. But let me take you out into the hallway which is just through this door so it's a little bit darker out here so I apologize in the change of lighting but this is just basically the uh, bookcase that I use that doesn't really I don't really know where to put all this other stuff it's just products and it doesn't fit in the bedroom <laughs> so it goes out here but on here I've got all of my spare business cards two other sketchbooks staples stapler some more files for paperwork paint pots all of that kind of miscellaneous stuff this next one houses a few books so there's a mishmash of books here so i've got some of james's books who's my son Beatrix potter complete tales thing these are all simon's books apart from this one this is obviously mine <laughs> sewing that kind of thing so uh, I'm into that as well Harry Potter but these ones are useful business books so I've got the Sean Cannell um, who are they on YouTube can't remember what they're called on YouTube but YouTube St secrets which just gives you a little bit of insight into um, analytics and tags and doing all of that kind of stuff these two business books this uh, the Power of Habit I have um, sort of read. Incredible read and I really recommend that again for business related stuff. And this one I'm yet to read, The Organised Mind. I'm excited to read that one. Down here I just have old Christmas products. So that's just Christmas tags and Christmas cards which I need to put on sale and hopefully get rid of. Another spare bulb and then I've got my small mailing envelopes there and then in that box in that box I've got my embossing heat gun and some larger envelopes and on this last shelf I have all of my card stock I've got a small box there of uh, one collection and then I've got another box here with two different collections in so I've got my eye study cards don't fall over and some other um, I think my son Konya cards on all of the like bright ones are there. I've also got some mount boards and stuff for prints. That one is a print. I printed it and it's ready to go if anybody wants to purchase anything. So that's good to go. 
And then here I just have again some more paper. I've got some more Bristol board, Strathmore 300 and 500. I've got my portfolio where I put all of my finished works and just miscellaneous items. This has got cello bags and some wrapping vellum in it. And that's pretty much it. And on the top there I've got a box, a small box. That small box is full of pencils and that is full of ink cartridges and ink refills for my continuous ink system. So hopefully this little studio tour has been helpful to you guys. I hope you've enjoyed seeing my little art corner, my art nook and my sort of productive space and hopefully it has inspired you guys for some storage solutions for your coloured pencils and if you are thinking of filming your work and getting into that side of your art, maybe even creating a YouTube channel, hopefully my description and everything of my tech that I use has been useful to you and you can sort of copy down all of what I am using and then save up or buy your own. So hopefully this has been useful to you. As always, I will leave the links to everything that I have covered in this studio tour in the description below. I'm going to list it as one of those little link tree links thing and it will be at the top of the description for you guys. So if you have seen anything that sparked your fancy, any equipment that you want to buy for your studio or any pencils or supplies that I have here that you think, oh my god, I need that in my life. Click that link and it will have a full list of all of my coloured pencils, supplies and my tech if you want to purchase anything for yourself. If you liked this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up and if you want to see more of this type of video then make sure that you subscribe to my vlog channel because I upload videos over there of like the more kind of day to day life thing like um, more of like an art business type thing so make sure you hit that subscribe button on that vlog channel I will link it in the description below for you. If you are new around here and you did like this video and you want to see more art tutorials and coloured pencil related content then make sure you hit the subscribe button on this channel. I would really really appreciate it if you did. I upload new videos every single Friday and I live stream most Sundays as well which are always so much fun with you guys and I get to interact which I absolutely love. So if you want to see that then make sure you do hit that subscribe button. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!